Hi, I'm Paul. I'm Tammy. We're, We're inseparable. inseparable. And today's topic is kind of a hot topic on the internet right now. And a lot of people, a lot of the internet or YouTube therapists are chiming in on this. Um, we've actually experienced this quite a bit, me more than my wife, because well, I've got far more in the way of a dating history than she does. Mm -hmm. um, but we want to just put some clarity out there. And we're talking about something called limerence, mm -hmm. you know, and what we've learned about this, its definition, its definition is uh, involuntary obsession with another person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, generally that person is unavailable. If they're unavailable, that fuels the fire and uh, because you can't have it. This was a video we did the other day. We're going to want what they can't have. Mm -hmm. um, you don't, it doesn't have to be that the person's unavailable. It can be that both you are, are available. And even if they're single and you're the limerent or whatever, and you're one, one of the parties is married, then it's unavailable. You know, and they could be unavailable for another reason. They could live far, far away on the other side of the planet. Uh, they might be too young for you to be involved with. Um, any number of reasons that could, you know, cause that to be. But one of the things we found out with a lot of the people chiming in on this is that they were saying that it ends, limerence ends when a relationship begins. If the LO, the limerent object, is agreeable to being in a relationship and the two people start up a relationship, that's when the limerence ends. That is not our experience. It does not end. You carry the fantasy. You carry the obsession. And a lot of people that I've been talking to who I feel are the real experts say that uh, it actually began when the relationship began. There was no... Um, obsessing, no fantasy, no thoughts of being with the other person until a relationship actually began. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of true about our relationship, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, our relationship, I was unavailable, you were too young, but eventually those things worked themselves out. But once we got together, I, I don't think that kind of died off do no. you no not at all and and my other experiences with this that's not necessarily true it will die off if you're in a relationship with somebody and it's a you know full-time relationship it's not long distance or anything like that and both people are available and you're able to even live together if you live together well mm -hmm. after a while what's going to happen is you're going to see the real you're not going to be able to ignore the real reality of who the person is, the fantasy will have to die off, you know. Mm -hmm. And but we have a kind of a fantasy love affair. No, <laughs> 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 we kind of live in that. So, but what I wanted to say, and I don't even know, maybe we'll do a whole series on this. But be careful about saying, "Well, yeah, that's definitely limerence. I was limerent, or somebody was limerent for me," or saying. That it's not true, mm -hmm. um, be, based on well, you know, we we knew each other for a week and then we started a relationship, so we couldn't have been people who have been uh, marriage helper, their YouTube channel. They've been dealing with this for thirty years, and they have videos on limerent affairs. Well, it would be impossible for an affair to be limerent because an affair is a relationship. If it end, if the limerence ended when the relationship started, right. <laughs> makes sense, right? So, yeah. so yeah, I mean, uh, this thing is very dark. It can cause unbelievable destruction, even in a case where no relationship happens. I mean, there are a couple of cases where some, a couple of women were limerent to me, and there was a key word, something they said that let us know we know by now if they say that that means they're limerent and it was very hard and and maybe somewhat embarrassing for their husbands because it happened right in front of them it became obvious right in front of them that they are kind of 
were gaga for me, and it had nothing to do with me. It has to do with the childhood. Mm -hmm. It has to do with poor self-esteem or attachment issues, mm -hmm. things like that. And and that's one of the things. Well, somebody said they have to have had um, attachment issues, and somebody said, well, I'm limerent, and uh, I don't have attachment issues. My mother and father were wonderful, you know? Mm -hmm. But she did have self-esteem issues, so, you know, that kind of gets to the heart of, of what it is. And so even something like that, just knowing and not knowing what limerence is and knowing, well, you know, my wife is is hot for some guy that runs a self-storage facility and he's 15 years older than me and he doesn't make the kind of money I do or anything like that and doesn't really, but she's head over heels in love with him. Well, it has nothing to do with me, you know, it has to do with that and just happen to be a person that triggers limerence in a lot of people. And uh, I had to think back to say, you know, always the limerent object, never the limerent, kind of like, you know, always the bride maid, never the bride. <laughs> but it occurred to me that I had, uh, when I was young, there were three different females that I could not be in a relationship with, that I used to maladaptively dream, daydream about, mm -hmm. had strong desires to be with, and all three of them I bought diamond earrings. You know, for somebody who's not in a relationship for to buy them, it seemed to be my marker. Mm -hmm. I only buy diamond earrings for you now. <laughs> you know, I don't buy them for anybody else, but so it's kind of an interesting thing that you could be somebody who is subject to limerence and you could be a limerent object as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so you have anything you want to no, I don't have. I don't have as much. I haven't done as much re research as you have on the subject, so I don't really have as much to add. Okay. Well, thanks for sitting here, <laughs> <laughs> smiling. All right. Oh, we're gonna do more. Thanks for watching. Take care. We love you. God bless. Bye. Bye.